Hello and welcome to the SCLD podcast. I'm Erin Dodge here with the Spokane County Library District and today I've got Savannah Stewart here to talk about books and um, she's one of my colleagues and an avid reader and I always love to hear her take on books and hopefully you do too. All these books are found on our shelves. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking for any of these books you can go to our website www.scld.org forward slash catalog and that'll take you right to our catalog and you can get basically put any of these on hold to pick up mm -hmm. at your local county library. Yes. And I've talked a lot, and now I'm going to let you talk for the remainder okay. of the podcast. No pressure. <laughs> uh, so this one, I just saw, I like to go to the new section whenever I'm at North Spokane yes. and just check and, through everything. And this Wine Pairing Party is the yes. name of the book. Oh, wait, it has a, what's the subtitle? 16 something. 16 wine profiles, 80 perfect food pairings. Oh, that sounds lovely. I really like how it's laid out. Like it's just, it's, it's so cute. Yeah, it's a small book. It's not super heavy. No. Um, but uh, am I seeing color pictures? So they have Okay, first the first, wine. The wine. And I think it goes from sparkling Ooh, to red, is my guess with these red pages. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming that's what's happening. Okay. Um, and then. And that says champagne and cremant. It looks like it's French, and I am terrible with After French. After four years of high school French, I'm going to say Cremont. I took Spanish. So. <laughs> but I probably butchered it because that was I was always told that my accent was bad. Ah, my French teacher. It's better than mine. <laughs> so it, it actually oh, opens. Oh, folds out. It opens, and it has different pairings. That's so cool. So pairing one, fresh and fatty cheese. Pairing two. Fresh and fatty. Cured. Sorry. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Pairing two, cured meats. Yes. Pairing three, fried chicken. Oh my gosh, yes. Pairing four, sushi. So like fried chicken, I'd be like, that's like a, you drink beer or something with that. No, yeah. drink wine with your fried chicken. It's champagne. Champagne, that's fancy. Yeah, and then it also has um, champagne and triple cream cheese pairing for New Year's Eve. So they wow. have like a little. I, is it weird that I got excited for the, the wine book? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we are in wine country. This is true. This, you know, Washington there's, has lots of good There's a lot of really good wines. Coffee, yes. beer. Yeah, uh, microbrews, yeah. Yep, yeah. Prosecco. Prosecco. Which tends to be sweeter. And then it tells you a little bit about it. Okay. Lots and then it French folds words out in there. And, and we fold pairings. it out. And it also has over here flavors to look for and flavors to, oh, avoid, to avoid when you're pairing, which is just kind of oh, nice. Oh, that is Because I am definitely a novice. I know nothing about wine. I'm like, oh, this is white. I can see that. <laughs> I, what I, do I eat it with? I, I like know. bubbles. It must be champagne or yeah. sparkling something. <laughs> yeah, and here is like a rosé. Oh, yeah, yeah, rosé. Pinot Noir. Okay. What goes good with Pinot Noir? Oh, wow. Middle Eastern food. And so like you kind of mentioned, the pages start kind of becoming the color of the wine. Yeah. That is Which so I cool. just noticed as we were doing this. I didn't notice that before. That's but wonderful. It, yes. Bordeaux. I, that's right. That says, right? Bordeaux. B Bordeaux. Bordeaux. There we go. I think. Yeah, it's got to be close. Blood sausage. Oh. You know, yeah. I think I'm going to avoid Bordeaux and blood sausage. I'm just going <laughs> to throw that out there. May, yeah. Washed rind cheese. Oh. Never heard of that. Me neither. Charcuterie board. Flavors to look for. I, I feel like the, the reds probably have, I'm, I'm guessing, bolder flavors maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, Party planning in the back. I, I feel like for, for someone like me who I really have no clue, I have no yeah. clue about wine, Yeah. this is going to be great. I, yes. And maybe for people that have some clue, but, True. but they want to do a party and they're like, yeah. I really want to get a Pinot Grigio, but yeah. what do I get to go with it? This yes. would be really helpful. I really do like the flavors to look for and flavors to avoid. I yes. think that's really that's nice. That's smart, too. It, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's for the for the wines. For the wines. I was wondering why it kept saying butterscotch. And I'm like, who's eating all the butterscotch <laughs> with their wine? <laughs> I don't think anybody's doing no, that. No, it's the flavors in the, like, that you, yeah. The, what are they, the, what the do palette. You, what, what is your palette? Mm -hmm. Let me yes. see. They'll take that little book. It's and very the back, cute. Sip, Sip, Hooray. That's yeah. cute. All yeah, right. And this is cool uh, written by Liz Rubin. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Nice, fun one if you want to do, like, some spring outdoor or gardening. Because I could think Party. a sparkling wine could be really refreshing in the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. With some fruit and cheese. There you okay. go. Then you'll know what kind of fruit and cheese to use for the different wines. Perfect. 
looks like a book that you're going to be checking out <laughs> soon. I might. <laughs> So this is one that uh, my partner was reading, The Complete Guide to Absolutely Everything, Adventures in Math and Science. Okay. And he really liked it because it is very like um, short bits of just learning things. Is it accessible, would you say? Or would from he what he say was it? reading, from what he was reading, I felt like it. I think if you are kind of interested in science, okay. you'll like it. If you're like, no, it's not my thing. And maybe not, but you could try. You could always try. Yeah. And check it out. I'm trying to think of the things he's read me because he'd giggle. It's, <laughs> apparently, it's funny. Okay. He'd giggle okay. about it while we're laying in bed. And well, even be like, the title. Let me read you this. The title is kind of humorous because yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, but that can't be everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. But, but it sounds like it does have some humorous bits in there and. The complete story of the universe and absolutely everything in it. it minus the boring parts. Minus so these the are boring. the best parts oh, of the universe. Oh, that makes sense. This is the best part of everything. Yeah, this looks like they're talking about Hitchcock in this. Oh. Oh, yeah, he was reading about facial expressions that people have like 40 facial muscles to express themselves, and that's like the most out of animals. Oh. And that we have facial recognition software, which I'm sure we've all heard of, that will recognize when somebody looks guilty, but they're basing it off of actors. So oh. they're taking this knowledge from actors who are trained to show all these different emotions. And the thing is, everybody's so different. Your face doesn't well, always show I f what I you're feeling. I might feel guilty about something that happened to somebody by somebody. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I might have that emotion and well, not and have might, any part of it. And it also might look totally different on your face. That's true. You, like, so it's just, that's interesting. I mean. Or if I was a trained actor, I would train that out of my face if I was right. guilty of something. Right, yeah, so that I, was super interesting. I have no plans, I have no plans to do anything. Hey, I didn't, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> What? Okay, well, this sounds fascinating, yeah. for sure. Um, I see a blurb from Bill Bryson, who writes all those travel logs and wonderful mm -hmm. things. What Stephen did he, Fry. What did Bill Bryson have to say? A wonderfully engaging blend of wit, enthusiasm, clarity, and knowledge. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and Stephen Fry all right. also. So something to check out. Yeah. And it sounds just, like you could read it together, like, or read it out loud with it was your funny. family. It was funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's an asterisk, asterisk after everything. Yeah. So that's the part that's like not the boring bits, right? Abridged, is that what that says? Bridged? Uh, probably says abridged. Yeah, the illustrator. Wait, that's something else. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, Alice Roberts. Okay. <laughs> There's a, a quote from Alice Roberts who says, the illustrations are truly excellent, and then an asterisk that she's the illustrator of the ah, book. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. so it sounds humorous. Yeah, it's just a fun, Very you're cool. just curious about things. Very cool. This will be a fun You'll book. find this on our shelves. Yep. All right. Next. I just picked up this one. Okay. So you you haven't had a chance to look at it, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely yes. gorgeous. Oh, well, I did look at it while I was in Aunties. Okay. So I, if I'm in Aunties, our app, our SCLD app, has a scan the barcode option. Yes. So I can scan the barcode, see if the library has it, and then put it on hold. So I do that all the time. That's really smart. That feature too. I love you can it. Be, oh, I love it. So, for example, a friend of ours was traveling, and she um, only had so much suitcase room, but she still bought eight books uh -huh. while she was traveling. But what she could have done yeah. was scan those eight books. We're not going to name names. <laughs> not going to name names. She's been on this podcast. Not She's going to see it later. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and, Next um, time. <laughs> and she could have maybe maybe only bought four and checked out the other four yeah. from the library. But you know what? We when all you're love in a bookstore. It's hard. It's hard. It's we so all love hard. books. We, yeah. If you're watching this, you probably love books too. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is one I saw that I thought was super cool. A global distillery tour. That is so pretty. So it's different. Oh wow. Distilleries you can visit around, around the, the world. world. Yeah. We did that in unison. We finish each other's sandwiches. Well, I was just reading Black Forest, Germany. Like, yes. Like, I, that's, I... Manchester, this is England. These are some places that are, like, known for their, their... Oh, yeah, Scotland. Their... Whiskey? Distilleries. Anyone? Anyone? Um, there's also in the back here some cocktails. Oh, yeah. Does it tell me where to get them or how to make them? We'll see. 
We'll see. We're gonna find <laughs> we'll out. You're see. gonna. You, you'll have to tell us later. Yeah, but it it just <clears throat> how fun, how fun. Well, that makes sense. It says global, global yeah. distillery tour. So it's the whole globe. Of course, that makes sense that it's from. Yeah, we're both really. Oh, smart it's from people. Lonely Planets. Yes. Okay. Lonely Planet is awesome. If you're looking for just fun. Yeah. It's it's the Lonely is Planets no. global distillery tour. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. But it just, oh, there's even U.S. Oh, good. Hey, let's see if Washington's in here. All right. I, they, we have to be. Yeah. How could we not? <gasps> New York, Oregon, Clo Washington. All is right. there anything? That's Gig Harbor. Well. That's all they got, Gig Harbor? Well, I'm know. judging them a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but there's a Heritage <laughs> Distilling Company in Gig Harbor, Washington. That's cool. That you could visit. Looks cool. That Looks does like a look fun cool. Place. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll go after this. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just skip on down to Oregon and go there too. Yeah. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Weekend planned. Weekend planned. <laughs> and it's, um, there's like a, a copper foil yes. on the book. It's very pretty. It is a very pretty book. All right. Also, I think I might be one of the first people to touch it. It looks pretty It crazy. looks new. Explore yeah. the exciting world of spirits and cocktails with Lonely Planet from gin, bourbon, and whiskey to vodka. A word I can't describe or I can't pronounce. Ooh, can I try? Kachaka? Kacha no. Okay. Tequila and more. Uh, sorry, I, d I didn't take Spanish in high school. I took French. I did. <laughs> okay. But anyway, from around the world, that's, yes. that looks great. Especially if you're going to go anywhere. Well, so I was interested in that because I've done like wine tasting. You're going on a big trip later this year. I am. Sorry, I got very excited. <laughs> I am. I'm going to Scotland and England, so I was like, so, well, check it out. There you go. Yeah, but I just, I've done lots of wine tasting, and I'm not really a big drinker. Neither neither am I. I'm, I'm really not. I'm a super lightweight. But the, I've done enough wine tours that it kind of got, like, boring, because it wasn't anything new, but okay. I know nothing about, like, gin, whiskey, bourbon, bourbon, scotch. I don't know scotch anything about whiskey. it. So yeah. I was like, well, that could be interesting. And I know there's yeah. some local places actually here in Spokane that you can do yes. um, some tastings. Yeah. And distillery tours like High Fly. Yeah. Downtown. So, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Here we go. The camping life. <laughs> what Inspiration and what? Ideas for endless adventures. All right. This one's fun. So this one kind of relates, um, so summer, our summer yeah. reading theme is Read Beyond the Beaten Path. Oh, yes. And it's not just for, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right, we're wearing the shirts. And uh -huh. it's not just for kids. Um, no. Honestly, you, adults, like, we have so much about camping, hiking, um, outdoors, nature, sightseeing, um, being creative. Yeah. Um, basically, books that can help you, like, with photography outdoors, painting outdoors, oh, yeah. journaling outdoors, um, stargazing, basically stargazing all kinds outdoors. of stuff. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, so we invite you to check that out on our website at um, sld.org, and the camping life. So this is one of our many titles. Yes, about outdoor mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, and it's, it talks about gear, popular destinations. Like this photo, I'm like, yo, they're in Utah. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like it just and it's not really well here we go oh. how to set up a tent oh that's that's good they yeah. have really nice tents now though that are easy e back I, in my day i have one of the not easy tents you have to i have it's to thread the pole through the it's thing it's very and, tricky yeah actually one of our grand prizes for summer reading this year mm -hmm. you can win a tent and it's like a pop-up tent i've yes. seen it it really, you take it out of the bag, it just, it pops up, and it's huge, but you don't have to do any hard work with it. It takes literally less than 30 seconds. And to win, or to be in the drawing to win that yes. prize, you you have to complete the online reading challenge, which mm -hmm. is to read 600 minutes right, over the summer. Right, which is about 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day, so completely mm -hmm. doable. 600 sounds like a huge number, but when yeah. you break it up to 20 minutes a day over the summer, easy breezy, mm -hmm. um, you could be reading to your kids with your kids yep. you could be reading um out loud with your spouse you could be audio listening books. you could be yep I, this still is my counts. this is my audiobook <laughs> gesture yep it still counts yeah or i mean check out 
the camping life. Yeah. And, um, and you know, Pack take a touring kayak. Oh I don't gosh. think I'm ever going to do that because water's scary, but <laughs> maybe if I get brave enough, this is something I need to do. Yeah. Need to know. So this is a fun one to flip through. I, I think if you're, I mean, some of these photos, like. Gorgeous. I don't know where that is, but I want to go. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I want to go. It's, it's a fun one to flip through. And this one's fairly new. It's from 2020. Mm, okay. Lied. It's newish. Um, but it's, you know, yeah. But we have tons and tons of camping books. Like, we really do have a lot of really good so ones. So the, this is one. The Camping, lo the camping Life. Hello. Yep. <laughs> Inspiration Ideas for Endless Adventures. Okay. By yeah. Brendan Leonard and Forrest Woodward. All right, and you'll find this on our shelves. Mm -hmm. Or, cool. again, go to our catalog at scd.org and put it on hold. Put it on hold. Mm -hmm. And then when Savannah's done reading it, you'll get a chance. I'll return it right away, I promise. <laughs> All right, so this is one that I think my mom put on hold for me. Okay. So my mom works in the collection services department. She gets, she gets all the, the inside, like, this yes. is coming out. Yes. Check so it out. she puts all of the information in the catalog. So when you're searching for a book, she's one of the people who puts all that information there. So she sees all the new books before they have their lovely stickers, before they're labeled. And so if she sees one that I would like, she puts it on hold for me. But not that you can't also put it on hold. You can also put it on hold. Yeah. I just sometimes I go to pick up a book and I'm like, what's this? I didn't put this on hold. You, you basically pick up the book that you put on hold and then find out your mom put a book on hold for you too. Yes. <laughs> that is such a mom thing to do. <laughs> yes. And sometimes if her holds list is full, she'll, she'll put a book utilize on hold. mine. Oh my goodness. Um, what a mom. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> but this book, The Regener Regenerative oh. Oh. Garden, 800, nope, 80 practical projects for creating okay. a self-sustaining garden ecosystem. I was going to say 800 in here. Dang. That sounds awesome. There are some super cool things in here. Um, I really so like... So do you have a garden? Or are you thinking about... Do I've been thinking about it. Okay. So okay. I have been pl trying to plant a lot of drought-tolerant local plants. Very nice. Um, and so I planted all the ones I have tattooed on my arm uh, <laughs> last year, and the bees love them. Of so course. So I'm just trying to plant things for bees and the, birds. You know what? This looks like a little bit like your tattoo. It's lavender. <laughs> this is his hyssop. Oh, okay. okay. Shout out to Angie at Mom's Tattoo. She's great. <laughs> So this is grow a bee border. So it's our oh, flowers lovely. that bees like. And so it's just how to do it. Don't fear the bees. Don't fear them. We have a little bit of bee fear. We have a little bit of bug fear in my house. Yeah. I run away from bees, so I haven't been stung in a while. Yeah. And they tend to like to sting me. But yeah. My husband's allergic good. and my son is just scared of anything. That's it could okay. be the teeny tiniest little spider and yeah. he'll yell for me. That's my partner likes is like that too, and he's grown, so. <laughs> he's, not, um, he's not 10. No. Uh, plant these for the bees. So here's like some herbs you can plant that bees like, yeah. perennials, annuals. This would be great if somebody wanted to do a hobbyist like beekeeping. Oh, yeah, yeah. You did, you'd basically, you'd want to do something like this. Yeah, a backyard food forest. Oh. Like just all these really cool things. That's these are, build a rain garden. Wow. I just, th this is a very, very cool book. So if you're in, like interested at all in, you know, sustainable gardening. Sustainable gardening. Um, um, kind of drought tolerant I was gonna say, stuff. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So there's a, there's a cool, there's lots of cool projects in here. Learning I about soil. I think we soil. have a, a program coming up called Lawn Gone. Or basically where you, you basically, yeah. instead of having the a, zero a grass or a lawn, yeah, you would... Um, Take all your grass out and, and have... And you could do something like this, mm -hmm. or, or they'll talk about some other different things you can do yeah. with your garden. That's in September, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's, 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 a, way, it's, it's a ways out. It's a ways out? No, I think it's coming up sooner than you think. Really? Yeah. Well, that's coming up. I don't, I, I don't know when off the top of my head, but you can find that on our Later. events calendar. <laughs> Look for it. Yes. Butterfly right. pathway gardens. Just cute. There's lots of cute stuff you can do. Oh, that's, that is really cute. Yeah. Butterfly Garden would be awesome. Right. Love yeah. them. So The Regenerative Garden by Stephanie Rose. Good one. Cool.